nous arriver à le festival de Afro Punk avec some crazy outfits and the family à le paix. C'est bonjour. Bonjour. Today, 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 today. Punk Paris 2018 is actually one of my highlights from this whole three cities in ten days trip. Dad and I booked the tickets and we set out to go there and we kind of built the rest of our trip around the fact that we'll be in Paris for this event. A wise woman once said that a family that Afro punks together stays together and it's not the first festival that Dan and I have taken Anape to. Just that whole vibe, people, like having your child surrounded by people with the Afro-punk mentality, having Alipay place surrounded by these themes, surrounded by people who are lovers of people and lovers of life. Though it was quite full on, you know, Afro-punk is not necessarily designed for kids. It was really nice having her there because of the atmosphere and not to see everything, but in reality, it was too hot and too loud and too crowded for a baby. But there wasn't really anything, any child activities um, set up for her. Um, though she did make a little friend. Alipay absolutely loved the b-boys outside the festival as well. <laughs> were a handful of us families from all over the world who travel to Paris for this event. The next thing I want to tell you guys about and something that I absolutely loved about this festival is everyone dressing up. They look like they woke up and put on their best self. I swear down there was enough African print to clothe like a whole herd of elephants. It was really nice to kind of run around with my tits out a little bit <laughs> in a tight skirt and platforms. Something that I don't really get to do in the UK and I felt empowered, I felt beautiful. It was nice having my little mini me and my and my and my hubby by my side and being that unit together and moving through this festival and, and being appreciated for it. How can I talk about Afropunk Music Festival without mentioning the music? <laughs> was jam-packed with amazing talent you know but highlights for me were Caesar I don't know if it's because we visited his father's house when we were in Jamaica when we were in Kingston um, and fell in love with reggae all over again but seeing Damien Marley was definitely the biggest highlight for us at Afropunk 2018. Top tips for taking your baby to a festival abroad are as follows. We recruited Dan's mum to come with us and we spent a couple of days as a family, you know, exploring Paris, went to the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre and you know, ate and whatever. We kind of spent some really nice family time together. But come Saturday night, y'all. Top tip for going to a festival abroad with your baby is to bring a babysitter. <laughs> if you can afford to hire one out there, then do it. But if not, bring a friend, bring an aunt, bring an uncle, bring someone that you're happy to kind of chill with for a couple of days and who in turn is willing to, you know, help you out with a bit of childcare. We had Alipay's noise cancelling headphones. Hello? Ah! Who said that? Stuck him on her, she had a chance to enjoy the music, enjoy the vibes, and enjoy the World Cup. I loved Afropunk and I'm so grateful to you guys for having us. I can't wait for the next one where we can come as a family and embrace the Afrocentricism. Afropunk Paris 2018, y'all. Yeah.